Kali Linux is a Debian-derived Linux distribution that allows you to practice ethical hacking. It has over 600 tools that let you perform cybersecurity tasks like penetration testing, security research, computer forensics, and reverse engineering. Today, you'll not only learn how to set this machine up, but you will also learn some basic Linux commands. To access this machine, go to the Download Virtual Machines lesson located in this unit. You'll be directed to a Google Drive that contains the Kali Linux file. Next, you're going to download this file. It will take a few minutes for this virtual machine to be downloaded. When it's downloaded, you must unzip it to access its content. This might take a few minutes. When the file is unzipped, it will create a new folder called 64-bit. Kali Linux is located in this folder. Now, you must open VirtualBox to use Kali Linux. Click on the blue star icon called New to create a new virtual machine. Name this new machine Kali Linux. Under Version, change Linux 2.6 to Debian 64-bit. Remember, Kali Linux is a Debian-derived virtual machine. Next, change the memory size from 1024 MB to 2048 MB. Then, click Continue. Under Hard Disk, select Use an existing virtual hard disk file. Click the folder icon. Then, select Add. Locate the 64-bit folder that you unzipped moments ago. Select the Kali Linux 64-bit. Click Choose. Then, Create to build the Kali Linux virtual machine. Your new Kali Linux details should be present. Next, go to Settings on the top panel. Select Display and change the video memory from 16 MB to 128 MB. Click OK to save these new settings. Now, you're going to start the Kali machine. Click the green icon called Start. A small box should appear displaying your virtual machine. The screen size is so small because you haven't installed the VirtualBox guest editions. This is software that increases the function of the virtual machine. When the virtual machine is finished loading, you'll be presented with a login screen. Insert this information. Username, Ozboxes. Password, Ozboxes.org. When you're logged in, you should be on the home screen. Next, you're going to change the screen resolution for a better viewing experience. Click on the menu located on the upper taskbar. Search and select Display. In the Display box, change the resolution to 1920 by 1200. However, be aware that your ideal resolution depends on the computer screen that you have. So, experiment with these options to find the best resolution for you. Then, click Apply to save the changes. Your virtual machine screen should be bigger now. Now you're going to open the terminal program. It's the black box in the upper taskbar. You're going to update and upgrade the virtual machine. To update the operating system, you'll be using the command sudo apt-get update. Sudo means super user do. This command tells Linux that you're an admin looking for admin access or more control to manipulate the operating system. Apt update means you're telling Linux to install new security updates or a set of packages. This command will ask for a password. This is the same password used to log in. So, enter ozboxes.org. The next command is the sudo apt-get upgrade command. This will install newer editions of the software already installed. Remember, sudo means superuser. This gives you more control to make changes in Linux. apt-get upgrade means that you're telling Linux to upgrade all packages currently installed on the system. This will take a few minutes. Now that Linux is fully upgraded, you're going to install VirtualBox Guest Editions. This will increase the function and performance of Linux. Use the command 
sudo apt git install dash y virtualbox dash guest dash x11. sudo means super user. apt git install means you're telling Linux to install a new software or package. The dash y command allows you to install software automatically without giving permission. Virtualbox guest x11 is the command name for the guest edition software. When it's down installing, write the reboot command. You need to reboot the virtual machine to confirm that everything works properly and new changes are saved. Now you're going to sign into Kali Linux again. Because you installed VirtualBox Guest Editions, it's much easier to expand the size of your screen. Go to display and change the resolution to 1920 by 1080p. Open the terminal program and write the script command presented below. It will download the script I created for you. Then, enter the osboxes.org password again. Currently, you're in a home directory. You didn't create a designated spot for where the script will be downloaded. So, it will be downloaded in the home directory. Because you know that the folder is in the home directory, you're going to use the cd command to change to this directory. cd means changing the directory. Type the command cd kali linux underscore setup. Now that you changed the directory, you want to list all the content in the folder. To do this, you will use the ls command. This command lists files within a directory. Simply type ls. When you use this command, you'll see that there's only one file in this folder. The file is 1080p underscore screen. Kali won't let you execute this file. So, you'll need to use the chumod command. This command helps you change the permissions of a file. chumod plus x lets you execute the file. Type chumod plus x 1080p underscore screen. This helps you ask Linux to run your script. However, when you run this script, notice that Kali denied you access. They said, operation not permitted. To overcome this, you're going to type sudo bang bang or two exclamation marks. This command will take the last command you entered and allow you to use it as a super user. Now that you've given the file permission to execute, you're going to run it. Type sudo period forward slash 1080p underscore screen. This tells Linux to run this specific file or script. Now that you successfully downloaded the script, you must go to the menu and type display. Click on resolution and see that you now have the 1920 by 1080p option at the bottom. Then click apply to save changes. You now have the best viewing experience possible.